My name is Larissa McFarker. I am a writer for The New Yorker magazine and I've been there for 18 years now. And before I was there, I freelanced for a lot of different places, for The Times Magazine, for The Nation, for Slate, for, uh, gosh, so many magazines. Um, but I've been at The New Yorker only for almost two decades now. I feel as though I had always wanted to write this book. Um, the question is why it took me so long to have that thought crystallized into an actual plan. but. Um, I'd always been uh, puzzled by the way that so many people, myself included, uh, had certain ideals as children and as, um, you know, adolescents and then didn't live up to them. Um, you know, when I was uh, young, I, I thought I ought to, I mean, this will age me, uh, work with Mother Teresa. That's the sort of classic thing of a certain kind of generation. Um, but then I didn't. I, you know, I became a writer, which is what I love, but I've never been completely comfortable with that decision. And so I wanted to think about, I know there are many other people like me, and I wanted to think about why that is, and I wanted also to think about what a life looks like for people who did not. Um, veer off that, that path, um, but stayed with the ideals they formed as, as children, which is, you know, I should follow that by saying I do not think their ideals are childish, but there is a kind of um, moral simplicity that can be good, can be bad, but can also be very good that um, some of the people I wrote about just clung to and would not let go.